Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about inside outside tests, a tutorial by QuickCS. So let's get started. So first, we'll learn the basic concepts. Area filling algorithms and other graphic processes often need to identify interior re regions of the object. It is not always clear which region of the XY plane would be interior and which region would be exterior. This is because in the algorithms, we can give the vertices of the fill area in any order which does not specify which region is interior and which region is exterior. Okay, So how we find out? There are two tests to find out the region is interior or exterior. First one is called odd even rule, also known as odd parity rule. Second one is called non-zero winding number. So first we'll learn odd even rule. Okay. So what happens in odd even rule? In odd even rule, we draw a line or imaginary line from any point position P to a distant point outside the coordinate extents of the object and count the number of edges crossing along the line. If the number of edges crossed by the line is odd, then the point P is in the interior. Okay, Odd number of edges means interior. If the number of edges crossed by the line is even, then the point P is in the exterior. Okay, even exterior. You can remember it that way. E E. Yes. All right. So conditions for odd even rule. There is one condition that you need to follow. You need to make sure that the line drawn from point P does not intersect a vertex or an endpoint. Okay, that is the only condition. For example, over here we'll take a look at this. Okay, so let's say this is a polygon. Okay, now let's say we draw a line from this point P. To the outside okay so how many number of edges are crossing one and two yes two numbers of uh, two number of edges are intersecting this line so it is an even number two is a even number even means exterior remember e e so it is a exterior region similarly for this we draw a line from this point to the outside how many number of edges are crossing one and two two is a even number again exterior region for this you can check a region uh, this region we take a point p over here and to the outside okay this is the line how many number of edges are intersecting over here only one one is a odd number odd means it's a interior point okay over here also you can check it out draw a line from this point to the outside how many number of edges are intersecting one one is a odd number odd means interior if you think this will only work or uh, this is actually not correct method you can just try it again from this point let's say we draw a uh, point or take a point from the same region and draw a line somewhere else like this let's see from over here to this region okay this side outside how many number of edges are intersecting one two three three is a odd number again it is the interior region you can check it out in any way just make sure that it does not pass through a intersection uh, does not happen through a vertex okay that's the only condition otherwise you can try it almost everywhere everywhere yes from over here to this outside one two three three points odd number yes so it's a interior region so this is the odd even rule okay now next one is non-zero winding number in non-zero winding number method we need to know the direction of each edge in the polygon that is whether the edge is clockwise or counterclockwise the winding number is number of times the polygon edges wind around a particular point in the counterclockwise direction how to apply this method to apply non-zero winding number rule first we keep the initial value of winding number as zero. Second step is then we imagine drawing a line from point p to outside of the polygon which does not pass through any vertex just like the previous method draw a line from point P outside the polygon which does not pass through vertex. Third step is now we add one okay add one to the winding number every time we intersect a polygon edge that crosses the line from right to left and we subtract one every time we intersect an edge that crosses from left to right. Many people will get confused with what is this right to left and left to right. Many tutorials are there online. You will be confused with them also. They are not making it clear. So that's the reason I am making this video for you guys. So you understand what is this left to right and right to left. Okay. Don't worry. It is very easy thing, but it is not explained properly. Okay. So these are the two outputs, by the way, you need to understand what is the output. What does that mean also? Uh, what that minus one and plus one thing does the interior points are that that have a non-zero value. Non-zero means anything that can be negative 
or positive but not zero okay exterior points are those whose value of the winding number is zero exterior is zero okay now this is the example okay let's take a example over here so what is the first thing that we do we keep the value of the winding number that is the initial value as zero okay keep it zero now let's say we'll test this point or this region okay point p will take in this region towards the outside okay now you are let's say you are standing at this point and you are looking in this direction in which the line is going okay now for you this will be your left side yes for you this will be your right side huh? now when you are looking it this way and this edge is going in this direction so which is the direction it is going from your right side to your left side so it is going in the counter clock direction yes it is going in the counter clock direction that is opposite of what the clock generally moves in okay so it is going in the counter clock direction that's why it is also called as right to left so that is when you are standing at that point okay and looking in the direction of the line how you look at it it is from your right hand side to your left hand side that's how the edge is going okay so what we do for that from right to left we add one plus one so what is the uh, now what is value the of your uh, winding number it is one now the next edge is intersecting over here okay now so you are still standing over here and you are looking at this edge so this edge is going from which side it is going from your left side to your right side so that is it is going in the clockwise direction yes so for clockwise or left to right what we do we do minus one or subtract one okay so your current value now is minus uh, is plus one and now you have to do minus one plus one minus one it will come to zero okay so what is the final winding number it is zero value of winding number is zero and when it is zero what does that mean it means that the point is in the exterior okay that is what this left to right and right to left confusion is it is basically when you are standing at that point and when you look at that edge how you look at the edge traveling you are standing over here this edge is traveling from your right hand side to your left hand side and this edge when you are standing over here is traveling from your left hand side to your right hand side yes so that is your left to right and right to left okay so this is how we do it now for this region let's say over here okay you are standing over here okay how is this edge going it is going in the clockwise direction yes that is from your left hand side to your right hand side so what does that mean it means you do minus 1 minus 1 is a non zero because there is no other edge that is coming over here okay so minus 1 is non zero so non zero means it is interior region similarly you can try it for this also okay let's say uh, which region okay we'll try it for this region okay this region uh, in which direction is this going this is going from your you're standing over here it is going from your right hand side to your left hand side so it is plus one or it is going in the counterclockwise direction yes it is going this way counterclockwise direction so it is plus one now plus one is again a non-zero value so it is non-zero value so it is the interior point so this is what non-zero winding method looks like or how it works all right so that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this video please like and share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel it is really important for me so that you guys subscribe to our channel feel free to ask me any doubts if you want me to make videos on any topics feel free to ask me in the comment section below and guys please like and share this video thank you very much